on BBC Radio 4 at midday today. It's uh, 8.56 now. When a courier is on a job, you'd expect them to drop off a parcel, get a signature, hopefully, if you're in, and then leave. But one Amazon driver decided that that wasn't enough. He wanted something in return. That's when Wilmer, the 11-month-old miniature schnauzer, disappeared. Emma North has the details. Emily Gutfield, her father Richard, and their dog Wilmer. They're a close team. She's quite lively, she's quite a feisty one. She always likes to play with her brother, Fred. Last week, the family from Tring nearly lost her when a delivery of dog food arrived at the house. I noticed there'd been an Amazon delivery and only one dog. Wilma was nowhere to be seen. I was just in shock because I, it's one of the, I, I didn't know it at the time, but it's one of the worst things that can happen to you when you suddenly think, is your, has your dog gone? A frantic search followed. We used this um, volunteering group called Murphy's Army and also Dogs Lost. Uh, they helped us with a search party. We had also had a sniffer dog round to see if we could search for her in case she escaped and ran into the lanes. Our only lead was the fact that the Amazon driver had delivered a parcel within the hour that she went missing. We spent three consecutive days on the phone to Amazon customer services for, well, for hours. Uh, each time they would tell us we need more time, another 24 hours. Uh, by, by day two we were saying that's not good enough. What did you do as a last resort to get in touch with Amazon? We emailed Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. And a man from Amazon rang them straight back. He called me to say he'd spoken to the agency that employs the driver and the driver has said he doesn't know anything about the puppies. A couple of hours later he phoned me to say he was looking at the tracking software of the driver to see if there was anything unusual. Wilma was at the delivery driver's house. Amazon told us this does not reflect the high standards we have for our delivery partners. We take these matters seriously and this individual is no longer delivering Amazon packages for the independent delivery service provider. There will be opportunists. They deliver so many millions of parcels every day. I think people need to be really vigilant, much more careful with the, the security of their pets uh, and, and not necessarily have just such a great trust for the people that enter their drives every day. I've discovered my daughter is the most determined person I've known in my life. For four days, every waking moment, she was doing something that was an action to find Wilma and get her home. And if I slackened off for one minute, she, she was there saying, no, you can't do that, that is not getting Wilma back for us, so she's been fantastic. She's my hero. Thank Give you. us a kiss. <laughs> Emma North, BBC News. It's an extraordinary story, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and we will have Richard, Emily and Wilma joining us on the sofa. Wilma as well. Yes, all here in about an hour's time. So we'll hear a little more about the, how the tale unfolded. Anyway, ooh, I had an un unintentional pun there, didn't I? Wag that tail. Coming up in the next...